Hello and welcome back to the very next learning video on Taylor's and Maclaurin series. In this learning video, I will be taking a different variety of problem like how Taylor series applications is used in calculators to find out this cos of something is we have to find out cos of 64 degree. All right. So without wasting much of time, let us start with it. So whenever you have a problem like this. Using Taylor's theorem, find the value of cos 64 degree. The first and foremost thing that you can do is to find out the value of x and the value of h. All right. So if I have this uh, 64, right? So all of you know the standard value of uh, the sine and cos function. All right. So, the standard value of sine and cos functions, everyone knows it, like uh, cos 30 degree, 45, 60, 90, okay. So, the 64 is close to uh, the standard value like 60, because cos 60 degree you know. So, I will write this 64 as 60 degree plus 4 degree okay and comparatively compared to this 60 degree this is small so i will take this as x and this as h so what is my x x is 60 degree and h is 4 degree okay you just need to do one thing like you have to do all the calculations in radian so uh, you can write this 60 degree as uh, pi by 3 okay and this h you can write it as 4 into if you want to convert this into radian is 4 into pi by 180 okay so what is my x my x is pi by 3 and what is my h you need to do this calculations so without wasting much of time let us directly write let x is equal to 60 degree which you can return as in the next line you can write and h is equal to 4 degree that is x is equal to pi by 3 and h is equal to 4 degree so convert it into radian by multiplying it by pi by 180 so you would be getting the value of 4 degree in radian as 0 point just a second 0.069 radians okay now in the last uh, uh, last learning video also i said like after the after identifying the value of x and h the very first thing that you can do is find out the derivatives of the function and the value of the function at this value x is equal to pi by 3 whatever uh, the value you have so here what is my function yes let f of x is equal to what is it f of x is equal to cos x what is the first derivative f dash of x is equal to minus sin x what is f double dash of x? That's minus as it is derivative of sin is cos x. Okay. Then you have f triple dash of x. That's minus derivative of cos is minus sin. So this is minus of minus sin x. That is plus sin x. Okay. If you want, you can find out the further terms also. Now, let us find out this uh, f of pi by 3 so what is f of pi by 3 that is cos pi by 3 what is cos pi by 3 yes cos 60 1 by 2 that's correct then f dash of pi by 3 or f dash of 60 degree what is it root 3 by sine no sine is root 3 by 2 and minus sine is also there so you have to put minus sine f double dash of pi by 3 
what is the f double dash of pi by 3 that minus 1 by 2 and here f triple dash of pi by 3 is sine pi by 3 that's root 3 by 2 <coughs> okay now after finding out this you just need to write down the Taylor series and then substitute those values so what you need to write here by Taylor's theorem by Taylor's theorem what should I write here anyone yes f of x plus h is equal to what should I write f of x plus h f dash of x plus h square by factorial 2 f double dash of x plus h cube by factorial 3 f triple dash of h plus and so on okay now you just need to substitute these values so i am now clearing this oh, okay no so f of x plus h so I will write f of x is you can write either pi by 3 or 60 degree. I will write in terms of it. f is cos. So this is sorry, this is cos function is cos 64 degree. I am directly writing plus oh sorry equal to f of x that's f of pi by 3 then h h is 0. 069813 is it okay then you have f dash of pi by 3 plus then you write this 0 0.069813 square by factorial 2 f double dash of pi by 3 and then you have 0 0.069813 cube divided by factorial 3 into f triple dash of pi by 3 plus and so on. Now you have all these values. Substitute f of x cos x f of pi by 3 is 1 by 2. So this is cos 64 degree is equal to f of pi by 3 that is 1 by 2 then this value 0 0.069813 into f dash of pi by 3 that is minus root 3 by 2 plus then again this term 0 0.069813 square factorial 2 is 2 f double dash of pi by 3 is minus 1 by 2 plus this thing 0 0.069813 divided by 3 factorial is 6 into root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2 plus and so on now you can make use of calculator to find out this okay so this is coming out to be this is coming out to be 0.48 sorry 43 Eight three. This is cos sixty-four degree, and that is what your objective is. This is required solution. Okay. So, if you want to check whether your answer is correct or not correct, you can do one thing: just take a calculator, put cos sixty-four degree, and see the answer. If you are getting this. Uh, to be your answer means whatever you have done with the Taylor series is correct. So you have here an option of cross checking the answer. So you can cross check your answer with the help of calculator. You just put cos 64 degree and if it is coming out to be this means whatever calculations we have done here is absolutely correct. Okay. Sometimes in the uh, problem we have directly cos 64 degree sometimes it is not the case sometimes it is given like sine 60 degree 30 minutes and you know what value you have to take as x 
I can definitely take x as 60 degree which is pi by 3 and I have to take h as 30 minutes 30 minutes means half a degree then you convert this half degree into radian by multiplying it by pi by 180 and do its directly what is the function sine this is f this is x this is h okay so i hope you got the trick like how to approach this kind of problems as far as the topic of taylor series and mclaurin series is concerned okay so this is what we have in this learning video thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you